Look at it. We got it, man. What up, what up, what up? Man, back at it, Carvane TV, you know what it is. Man, I just made a purchase of some super, super, man, I made a bad purchase, I ain't even gonna lie, I made a bad purchase. Let's see what happens, man. Carvane TV, kick me here, let's go. Yeah. 1986, 1986 Chevy Caprice, man. 1986 Chevy Caprice. Need some work, man, at least. I mean, look at this fender. Right, man. Yeah, up there. This is off of a 79, I believe. I think, I don't even know. I don't think this, I don't think this Fender or this, I don't think this Fender loves this car. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But it's all good. Show y'all the inside, it's terrible. It's super terrible. Roll up windows. I didn't even see if they work. I literally bought this car without seeing it, bro. Yeah, I didn't think they work good. I literally bought this car without seeing it. I'm gonna let him get it off the off the uh, truck. And then we'll go from there. I mean, dog, the bumper is upside down, bro. I'm like, what was they doing? They got the bumper on upside down. Man, this is a joke, right? Man, I made a mistake, bro. What was I doing, bro? Okay. I'm literally over here like, man, what was I thinking? It's got a big dent in the side. Right, bro, he, I don't even know if he hit it in the pictures. Like, I, don't, I need to go back and look at the pictures. I feel like he hit that. He didn't take a picture of the dent. Like... This is my first time seeing it. He just pulled up in a tow truck. I bought it literally sight unseen. There's an enormous fucking dent in the side. Like, bro. <sighs> yeah. Man, this shit raggedy, man. He did tell me there wasn't keys. Because somebody, like, tried to steal it or something before. Like, what is this, bro? Man. It's all good. I'll try to start it. You want me to start it? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a mess to start, so we'll see how that works. So this is the key to it. Oh man, I buy a stolen car. <laughs> I don't know if my big ass can fit in there. Try to move it back. Exhaust is too. Yeah, you got to give it some gas. This sounds terrible, bro. Like, this thing's terrible. <laughs> you got it, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, 
man. Look at this. Bro, is the car stolen, bro? Like, maybe I bought a stolen car. Man, that thing sounds terrible, bro. Oh, my God. That's good. You good. Just, just leave it there at this point. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you, brother. You got a cash app, man? Nah. I mean, this thing is a piece of crap. That fender over there is like off a of 79. It's not supposed to be in this car. The radiation port is definitely down. This has a, it's an 86. It has the European rear clip, but not the rear. This car's been hitting the front before, bad, probably. I need to find me a front Euro clip. Hood's damaged, of course. They broke the, they broke the windshield putting the hood on, probably. Is this misaligned? This grill doesn't even go on its front end. They got it. Bruh, what did I do, bruh? Bruh. Well, how they how they put the bumper on upside? Like, that's, that's still blowing my mind. I don't get that. But this isn't blowing this car, so that'll be the first thing I do is take that thing off. Man. I don't know what I was doing, man. I bought it sight unseen, man. The tax look good. That's good. Um, I mean, the interior is literally just utterly destroyed. It's dirty. I do like this. You don't really find this in all box Chevys. She got the gauge right there. Somebody put that in. I think that's pretty clean. I like that. I'm sure the AC and stuff doesn't work, but I was betting money. I'm sure none of that works. Oh, oh, nice. I mean, a phone horse. What the hell is this thing? I don't know what that does. Here. Oh, the seats are destroyed. This is just killing me, man. It's like he didn't even say, but I don't know what the thing is anymore. I swear he didn't say it right there. I mean, that carpet is despicable. Oh, there's a can of Prime back there. Oh, man. Man, it's not one thing, it's another, man. I can't even look at this thing today. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave this here, too. It's just... All right. So. 1986 box Caprice is thrashed, thrashed, bro, thrashed. But it does run. It sounds like crap. Uh, it wasn't knocking, even though it sounded like it might have been knocking. I think that was probably the exhaust hitting the bottom of the car, because he told me there was a bad hole in the exhaust um, that, like, the exhaust had separated from the muffler. So I'm cool with that. Um, also, also he said, um, the, what's the other thing he told me? He told me that the, uh, the manifold, they didn't try to take the intake manifolds off to try to, uh, fix the gaskets and they never did it. So, that may be why we hear a lot of that noise too. Back right here, just got this thing started up. Yeah, I had to flip the bump around. I thought I put the bump around on the back. I don't know why. So I went ahead and put that around. It's got it running. It's got an exhaust leak. I think it's a donut gasket down there. So I might run it to a public shop real quick so I can to fix that. Or just go get a donut gasket, put it myself. I don't know yet. Um, but this thing's hurting, man. Garage, dirty. I got cleaned up. Put a convertible in here. But uh, 
stuff on here. A little bit of paint that was on here. I don't know where it came from, but... Let's break the more on here in a second. down to about to drive about two and a half hours away uh, from Dallas to Oklahoma and pick up a 1989 LS box Chevy LS box Chevy uh, Chevy Caprice so ride with me man we're gonna take this ride we're gonna try to pick up this car I got cash with me I got some cash somewhere around here I gotta make sure I got my cash all right car that I'm gonna pull with today uh, is a 2021 Ford Expedition. Man, this thing is nice. I'm gonna actually show y'all something. I'm not a Ford guy. I'm actually a Chevy guy or a GM guy, but this uh, Ford Expedition is super nice, man. I can't even believe it. <clears throat> so we gonna ride, um, and we're gonna pick up a uh, trailer. We're gonna shoot down Oklahoma, man. Let's get it, let's go. So here, picking up the trailer. Going for you, haul Always here. Man. This motherfucker is nice, man. I like these seats. She got all kind of stuff going on, but yeah, nice. She has brush. Yeah, I like this uh, expedition. Not a not a not an expedition for a guy, but a little wood paneling. This thing's nice on the inside, man. Still ugly on the outside though, but. It's definitely nice on the inside. I'm impressed with the inside for sure. All right, let's get it. Yo, YouTube, we're on the way out. Got the trailer, headed uh, to Oklahoma. I think it's Lawton, Oklahoma. Lawton, Oklahoma, I don't even know where that's at. So we're headed out, uh, ready to go get it, man. Hey, y'all know what it is. Let's get it, let's go. Yeah. All right, man, just got here. Made it to Lawton safely. Down here in Lawton, Oklahoma. Oh, man. Down here in Lawton, Oklahoma. Man, made it safely. Got the trailer. Yeah, they motherfuckers smoking. Jesus. Damn, they motherfuckers smoking. All right, so we down here, man. Made it safely. There go the Caprice right there. We'll go over here and take a look at it, man. It's smoking a little bit, but it might be all right. Here it is, LS Box Chevy. So it's been through some stuff, but it's still a LS. Man, it's been through some stuff, man. Ooh wee. It's gonna need some work, but it's a LS. What's up, man? What's going on, man? Chillin', chillin'. Yeah, it was scary, it wasn't that bad. Alright, man, I'm gonna check this car out, man. Get back with y'all. So I got it. Uh, went ahead and bought it. It's up on the trailer, you see. I'm not gonna tell you what I gave for it right now. I'll let you know at the end once I flip it. A uh, little bit of transmission issue, uh, smoking a little bit. Well, not a little bit, smoking a lot, but it does run and drive. Uh, 1989 LS box Chevy. LS lights work, LS top. Uh, the top's been redone. It's probably been done a long time ago. Needs to be redone. Interior is old, it was done before. Headliners falling down, you see, it's broken. But that 
glasses out there. Actually, that's not look that bad for its age. We got to play this big car. So, but, yeah, it's out there. LS Box Chevy, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Actually, we got good motor. It runs pretty good. I mean, it is smoking, but probably some rubber valve seeds. We're going to see. I'm going to run some stuff to it, see if I can get to stop smoking. Yeah, everything's there, man. Needs some work for sure, but it's all pretty much there. You see the headliners falling down. I don't know why they put bottle headliners it's too hot in Oklahoma and Texas for that. So, man, there it is. The 1980s box Chevy. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh man, I almost forgot. Look, I'm sweating tying this thing down, bro. I forgot about tying these things down. Got sweaty. Got a little dirty. You see my hand. Not a little dirty, but we alright. But uh, let's get it. Gotta head back to Dallas. Man. I got a haircut appointment. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So I already got gas. We should be good. Head back to Dallas. Let's see if we can make it to this haircut appointment. Let's get it. Let's go. Man. Look at it. Look at it. We got it, man. We on the way back. <laughs> had to stop here at Love's. Grab me something to eat, something to drink. I ain't even getting to eat. I'm just gonna grab some food. Yeah, man. All the way back, man. All the way back to Dallas, Texas. 89 Chevy Caprice LS. Another Caprice. So I got three Caprices in three days. It's crazy. Um, hold on, let me show you. Three Caprice. This one's kind of hurt, man. I won this vehicle at an auction, though, so I gave 500 for it. I paid 500, yeah. I paid 500 for it um, here in Texas. Ain't nothing special. Don't even have hubcaps on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff to it. Uh, probably get it ready to sell. I might even I might keep it working on it a little bit. I don't know yet. Um, but it does run good. I had to get some keys made for it because it didn't have keys. But uh Seats out and everything, uh, clean it up. I had to put some trans fluid in here. So, Unless some Gucci shoes in this room, I doubt those are real, but uh, there's Gucci's in here, yeah. Stuff in the back. Um, headliners messed up in the front. This car is filthy, man. Like, literally filthy, right? I mean, you know, when you get a car to auction, it's gonna be dirty, but this fucking car is filthy. It's crazy. And it looks better than it did when I first got it because I cleaned some of it out. It's crazy. So, uh, Give me a second, I'm gonna start it up and uh, everything. Uh, we'll go from there. I'll show you how it runs. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen in the front, there's a strap. You hold it down. In the hood. Uh, looks like this car is probably involved in some kind of accident because I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's two different whites. Two different whites. So imagine that. Um, 
it was an accident, that's what happened. So I put a different, a different hood on it. Um, I had to strap it down because the latch is broken. So I've already got a latch. Probably put that on today. Then we get the hood and we'll get the hood aligned. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else to it. I don't know if it's worth it to do anything to it right now. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. But uh, give me a second, I'm gonna get this thing started. This shit's pretty right up. Come on. It's fuel injector. It's fuel injector. You see it's got a different column in it, a different steering wheel. So definitely got into this car before. Probably get rid of this soon, get it fixed up, but we'll get a couple videos out of it, getting it somewhat fixed up, and then we'll go from there on what else we want to do. Um, man, I just don't know at this point what I want to do with it. I got some 28s and some uh, suspension parts that I could put on it that are gonna come off my, uh, my convertible. So, hopefully we can get Hopefully we can get Rail to uh, get us some Coleones soon, and uh, then we'll have we'll have some suspension parts from that we can put on here, and uh, and uh, some rims and I'll have my convertible, and we'll be done with it, and then we'll be good to go. So let's get it, man. Rule number one: get the money first. Rule number two: don't forget to get the money. Look at my homeboy. My homeboy just pulled up on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right now. But we'll go from there and uh, be done with it. You know? yeah, I'll, I'll get you some footage next uh, next time. I'll do just a video on just this car, decide what I'm gonna do with it, and everything. So, yeah, for real. what up, boy? Man. Like, subscribe, vibe with your boy, man. Like my channel, man. Carvane TV, man. You know what it is. Let's get it.